Welcome to Electron Online. On our next example, we have to be a little bit careful. Notice that we have denominators here. Oop. We have an x, we have an x, and we have an x plus 1 here. But notice that this is 1 over x plus 1 subtracted from this complex fraction. So what we should do is handle this portion first and then subtract from that 1 over x plus 1. So in this case, what we're going to do is only concentrate on that part and then say that the LCD is simply equal to x, which means we're going to multiply this numerator by x and we're going to multiply this denominator by x and leave that alone for now. When we do that, we get the following. So this is equal to 2 times x plus when we multiply these together, the x's cancel out and I'm left with a 3 minus x divided by here again, it's 4 times x, and here when I multiply the x's cancel out, I get plus 2, and of course we can't forget the minus 1 over x plus 1. I'm going to simplify this by simply collecting common terms. So here we have a 2x minus x, which is x plus 3, divided by 4x plus 2, minus 1 over x plus 1. Now here I can factor out a 2, so this is equal to x plus 3, times 2 times x, or not x, but 2x plus 1. So let's write this as 2x plus 1. And here we have a minus 1 over x plus 1. And now we have two what we'd call rational expressions that need to be subtracted from one another. And there we're going to find the lowest common denominator by multiplying the two together. So in this case, the LCD for the second portion of the problem is going to be 2 times 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. So that means that we need to give ourselves a little bit more space. So we're going to move this to the right, extend this line like this, then minus 1 over x plus 1, and extend this a little bit more like this. And now what's going to happen here is I'm going to multiply this numerator by x plus 1 and the same with the denominator times x plus 1 and here I'm going to multiply this times 2 times 2x plus 1 and this 2 times 2x plus 1 and now we have everything written over the same common denominator like we've learned before Hey, at this point, we can subtract the numerators and write it all over the same common denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, we get x squared plus 4x plus 3 minus, in this case, we get 4x plus 2 all over the same common denominator of 2 times 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. All right, so let's come up here to finish the problem. The numerator, let's multiply everything out. So we end up with x squared plus 4x plus 3 minus 4x and minus 2 all divided by 2 times 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. Now, let's collect common terms in the numerator and see what we get. We have an x squared. 4x minus 4x cancels, 3 minus 2 is plus 1, all divided by 2 times 2x plus 1 times x plus 1. And that's then the final form of our original equation. And that is how it's done.